There were a lot of questions and there was a lot of interest in probiotics and this is an area that a lot of people are interested in and there are good aspects to probiotics but the medical profession is being cautious at the moment because the amount of clinical data from genuine <laughs> clinical trials is limited. What we don't want to do is recommend something that could cause harm and I think the important point to remember is that probiotics are actually licensed as foodstuffs and not as medicinal products and therefore for the rigour of the check on them is less clear cut than it would be if they were a medicinal product and so we have to be cautious because there have been outbreaks of infection where salmonella or other nasty bugs have been transmitted by probiotics. So that was one key area that was talked about this evening. The other issue was immunity and small babies and were babies more vulnerable than the older populace and the simple answer to that is yes. The most vulnerable individual on the planet really is the little neonate that's premature. So that little titch that's the size of a two pound bag of sugar or something is really really vulnerable. Their body surface and everything in relation to um, their size is huge. They have weak skin that can be debraided very very easily and they are very prone to infection. What we try and do is avoid getting neonates exposed to infection insofar as is possible. As they grow older get exposed to viruses, get exposed to bacteria then their immune system builds up and they're actually a, a more robust little person if you think of the little toddler three-year-old much more robust than the little the little chick in just out as it were so we need to be careful with these little ones I mean I've always been aware of how important antibiotics are and how they are you know one of the most important medical advances of the last hundred years uh, because they've allowed us to treat common infections that in the past would often have been fatal but one of the things that really struck me as well um, and I think it's a point that's often uh, overlooked is the fact that if we lose antibiotics, if antibiotic resistance continues to increase then an awful lot of things that we take for granted in modern medicine like intensive care unit care, neonatal units, uh, transplant surgery, joint replacement surgery, cancer chemotherapy, things like this, they wouldn't be possible without antibiotics. So this really is the, the most precious of precious medical resources and we, you know, we really have to look after it.